This week's word of the week is going to be American Welding Society. So three words, I guess. Commonly called the AWS. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, with the importance being the most at ten. Uh, if you don't know what the American Welding Society is or the AWS, and you're in the welding field, it's a one bazillion. It's one. See all these zeros? I'm off the screen. Well, where did I go? I'm way over here. I'm still counting zeros. You're definitely going to want to know what the American Welding Society is or the AWS. If you don't, uh, that's very bad. Figure it out. Get on the AWS website and uh, do some research. But we're going to go over it right now anyway, so we can start right here, right? So um, it was originated in 1919. It's a nonprofit organization. It's got over 70,000 members across the world. Uh, there's 22 districts, 250 sections, and there's also student sections. There are subsections of that as well. So if you're in like a, a welding school, they'll have student chapters. Uh, another thing, students, um, if you're going to school for welding, they'll give you a discounted membership while you're going to school. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like 15 bucks or something. I don't don't quote me on that, but it's it's definitely cheaper. So if you're in school, it uh, uh, pays to get a membership right now. So and, and like I was saying, they have student sections at a lot of those schools. So. Uh, back to the list here. It's a worldwide organization. The AWS has standards that are recognized all over the world. Um, the pre president right now is Dale Flood. I don't know Mr. Flood personally, but that's who the president is right now. The world headquarters, Miami, Florida. Everybody loves Miami, right? Nice and sunny. So Miami, Florida is the headquarters. And this is the, uh, the website for them. It's www.aws.org. Sometimes it can get confusing because that dot .org, I remember when I used to, I used to always type in .com and it would screw me up a little bit. But uh, So the American Welding Society, some fun facts right here, I guess. Uh, the big thing is, what does the American Welding Society do, which I have under here. And we're just going to kind of go through each one of these bullets and talk about it for a minute and then wrap things up here. So, so what does the AWS do? The biggest thing I would say are standards right here. Uh, the AWS creates standards. The most famous one, probably the D1.1, the Structural Steel Welding Code. And these standards basically dictate what you have to do to perform welds on whatever you're welding. So like with the D1.1, it's structural steel. So if, the, if you're welding steel and it's structural, hold stuff up, you're going to use the D1.1 probably, right? Because structural steel. Um, so the different standards that the AWS has um, developed there's a ton of them, right? So uh, we're not going to go over all of them. Just, we're just going to understand they develop standards. I always say they're like the governing body for the welding world, right? Uh, they they kind of oversee everything, and, and they continue to build uh, through research and, you know, events they do and things like all the stuff you're seeing listed right here. Uh, but they're not really a government thing. It's They develop standards, so... So these standards are, are very important because that's what you're going to get certified to. If you're getting certified, you're going to get certified to an AWS standard if you're using the AWS as kind of your governing body. There's also, there's other governing bodies if you want to call them governing bodies, but like ASME and ANSI and things like that. that those are different um, um, societies that, that develop standards. So um, membership, they have membership like we were talking earlier. Uh, you can become a member of the AWS when you do become a member, you get a, a journal once a month. So in the journal is basically what's happening in the world, new developments, uh, new equipment, uh, just general news. So uh, when you become a member, you're also going to get this this journal, and it's a it's a pretty good journal. Uh, it's scholarly. It's not you know half ass put together or anything like that. So uh, it's good to good for reading. Um, Certification, they do a lot of certifications. Uh, the most famous one probably being the CWI, the Certified Welding Inspector, right? So um, there's, there's, they do more than just a Certified Welding Inspector. Don't think it's just the CWI, you be, be a Certified Welding Engineer, Certified Welding Educator. I'm just throwing things off the top of my head that I know they do. Um, but they do a lot of certifications. Uh, AWS, ATF, what does that mean? Accredited Test Facility, so they're doing certification uh, for welders through an accredited test facility. What does that mean? That means the AWS comes in and they have a bunch of standards that you have to meet to be an accredited test facility. And when you're an accredited test facility, you could then certify welders that can go across the board. It's not just, you know, for a company. So normally for certifications, a CWI would go to a company, we'll call it Company A. They develop a WPS, a PQR, and certify them to uh, that company's uh, welding procedures. 
This is an AWS certification when you get it from the accredited test facility. And you can go into all the stuff that's required to be an, a, an ATF, but um, you're better off if you're, if you're interested in becoming an accredited test facility or, or looking to find one in your section or area, uh, you just go to their website. They have a, a link, you click on it, and it will tell you the nearest uh, accredited test facility if you're looking to get uh, certified through the AWS. So they do that, so that's a certification. It's under certification anyways. Uh, they're big on education. They got on their website and they said they had $400,000 uh, last year they gave in scholarships. So if you're going to a welding school and you're broke like everybody is when they're going to school, uh, you can go up to the AWS website and uh, look for scholarship opportunities. They're giving away uh, 400 Gs, so that's quite a bit of money. Uh, over here again, uh, research, so they're going to publish in the journal, that they'll publish a lot of the research stuff. They usually have a research uh, section at the very end of the journal that just tells you what's going on in the welding world as far as research. Uh, they also do events. A uh, big one is Fabtech, so um, they'll sponsor events. Fabtech is one of the biggest metal um, uh, events there is, so it's not just welding, it's, you know, building stuff. like. Uh, so you're not just talking welding, you're talking like if you're like iron workers or whatever and you needed uh, equipment to bring up I-beams or whatever. That, that's a great thing to go to. A lot of metalworking stuff there. So um, the AWS sponsors things like, like Fabtech. So let's go back up here. I think uh, that pretty much covers what the AWS does, uh, where they are, how you get on their website, things like that. Again, if you don't know what the American Welding Society is and you're uh, in the welding community, the zeros, they're, they're gone. They're off the chart, right? So make sure you understand what the AWS is. If you've never been to their website, it's a good thing to check out. So I would suggest going to www.aws.org if, you, if you're not familiar with AWS. So that's our word of the week for this week. We're going to head out. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TD Weld. And we'll see you next week.